So this video is about active versus passive learning, and it's geared towards my Physical Sciences 152 course. In the week one overview, I had made a comment about lecture versus resources, and that I would be providing a lot of resources for you, but not lecturing as much. I wanted to give you a little bit more information about what I'm thinking here and what I'm expecting from you so that you can be as successful in this class as possible. So when we talk about traditional lecture in the college setting, it's often a professor who's talking for 50 minutes. Students are listening, they're watching, they're taking notes. Even if you're not falling asleep during all of that, you're still very passive as you just sit and listen and watch. Compare that to, say, a traditional apprenticeship, which was the on-the-job training. In this method, you really learn while you're doing stuff. You might watch the mentor do it the first time, or you're helping them out as they're doing some things, but very quickly you transition to you're doing the activity, and they're watching you and giving you suggestions for how to do it better. It's a very active type of learning. This course is going to use a mixture of the two. We will still have some traditional resources. You're going to have readings from a textbook. You're going to have videos to watch. There'll be charts or diagrams or other resources that I provide to you. But the rest of the time, instead of it just being lecture, you're going to have other activities to do. Now this might be discussion boards. Some weeks you might have a practice quiz that's more like a game. You might have group projects, and you're going to have a photo journal entry that you're doing each week. And as you work through these activities, it gives you a chance to really dig in and apply what you're learning so that you actually learn it at a deeper level. So I want to give you some general tips for success if you haven't taken a class with a focus more on the active learning. And the first thing is to stay engaged. Because it's active, don't think that you can just sit back and do much of nothing and then turn in some homework and you're done. You're going to have to be doing a lot of stuff. Ask questions as you're doing those things. So as you work through the activities, if something's not clear, if the resources I've provided don't give you enough information, please step up and ask questions. And that's not just questions to me, it's also questions to your classmates. So you want to get to know your classmates so that you guys can collaborate and share information and thoughts as you're working through this material. I also want to encourage you to really work throughout the week. As an online class, this one has been designed so that most of your deadlines are at the end of the week. Sometimes you'll have a discussion board that's due midweek so that you have a chance to reply back to each other, but most of your deadlines are at the end of the week. With that flexibility, you might have the temptation to wait until the end of the week to start. But because of these activities and the fact that you may want to ask questions, I really encourage you to get in, do a little bit of it at the beginning of the week, then keep working, do a little bit of activities as you go throughout the week, to both keep you engaged and, and sort of keep the flow going. And last, as that's going, keep some notes. You might think that because you're doing activities and not just listening to lectures that you don't need to take notes. But as you work through these things, you still want to make some notes about the important points so that when you come back to review it after a few weeks for a unit test or at the end of the semester for your final exam, you have a little bit of information about what you did and what were the important points that you focused on as you went through the week. So that's the end of this quick presentation about active versus passive learning. And again, I encourage you guys to ask questions and stay engaged. And if you do have concerns, please bring those to me so we can help work through them together so you can be more successful in this class.